It is January 10th. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people do come up here. And Chris... Oh, I'm just talking to my viewers. Whoa. Yeah, I know you can't see anything yet. Oh, that's a plant. There we go. There's something to look at. Chris got his light on. Anyway. Chris is going to find his first cache. It's interesting because it's the same one that my first cache was. So we'll see how he does. Is there any hints for it? Check. There should be a hint. I can I can't see anything. Huh? Just watching what you do. Ah. Can you zoom in on the map? Yeah, it's all the way screen. zoomed in. Really? Click the compass icon. The Click compass? The uh. That'll give you a, a distance and a direction. Ah. 17 feet the other way? Uh huh. You can't zoom in on the compass. <laughs> <laughs> How do you uh, see any like tips or anything? Go back. Back? Yeah. And then go to ah. scroll down to hint. See if there is one. I don't even know if there is one. One push to climb to? What? That one? Try it. <laughs> the moon is full. Or maybe it was full yesterday. I don't know. Yep. You found it? You did. Yes. You did. You should use my flashlight. Because yeah. yours isn't bright enough to show up on my video. Oh, it's not? Yeah. Click the back twice. One more time. There you go. That's much better. <laughs> Whoa. Your batteries are almost dead, huh? Probably. Probably. Well, anyway. You found number one. Oh, something bit me. <laughs> well, that's it. Cool. Okay, well, we're here at the second one, and uh, it's hard to tell, but there's a road here. It's actually impossible to tell because all there is is black. But there's a light. Just trust me, there's a road here. <laughs> and we could have driven and parked right next to it, but instead, we went this way. And his car is parked way down there in that parking lot, down this hill. Let me get my light out and show you. It's probably at least, I don't know, 40 feet, 30 feet. Yeah, it's hard to see, but it's actually like 180 feet. That's what my GPS is saying when we got out of the car. I was just looking at how tall that building is. Yeah. Anyway, time to go back down the hill. Plants. <laughs> I want to drop my heart. Whoa. Here's your car down there. It does seem like a lot of people go this way though. There's like a trail. It's like a trail through these things. Across the ditch. And then there's like these thick ground cover plants that you have to walk through. I hear them squishing. Back down to Chris's car. It is 1.33. We have found five so far. And on the fifth one, we ran into the police. The law. Yes, we had to run in with the law. He was wondering what we were up to, so we had to stop looking and walk over to him. Because I guess he saw the car, so he was shining his light out, so we just saw this bright light looking at us. So we, we hid behind the bush for like 30 seconds as the light's passing over us. 
and we're like, we should probably uh, show ourselves. So we walked out to him and he asked what we were doing and he explained it. He didn't believe us at first. He didn't believe us at first until I showed him my GPS. He's like, so show like, me. See? <laughs> there we go. I don't think you can get to this one from here. It's just houses. There might be some way around, but... But anyway... Through, through that path ah, inside. Yes, you can go in there. Cool. So anyway, we, um, we explained what we were doing and... He wanted our IDs so he could run background checks on us or whatever, so... But anyway, he let us continue find it, and he said, "Good luck, have fun." So, it worked out okay. Mm -hmm. Fit, his fifth find ever, and he runs into the police. Jeez, that's what this sport is all about. <laughs> I'm over here at uh, Solano College. Well, it's way over there, but uh, there was an event last night, and I hid five caches for it, and then other people hid three more. And I'm at the third one the next day, just going out trying to find them. And this one's called Wish You Were Taller or something like that. And uh, it's hard to see with the sun, but it's right up there. See it? I don't even know if I'm looking at it. I might be. It's hard to tell on this little screen, but anyway, it's up there. So you gotta like climb this fence and reach. Signed it. Now I'm putting it back. Done. Very good. It's nice having a truck for geocaching because you can go places that sometimes cars can't go, but the one thing that doesn't be nice about trucks is the fuel. Yeah. Oh well, that should last me, you know, a couple miles anyway. I'm here at Rockville Park again finishing up the last two in the park and because the reason why I can do that is because the ones that I figured were missing or couldn't figure out the owner of those caches is actually here with me and we're hiking up together he's checking on his stages and I'm just going along helping out and uh, finding them if they're damaged or you know, once he replaces them, then of course I can find it again. So, kind of cool. He's one of the uh, original, I don't know about original. He came in about 2005, beginning. I came at the end of 2005. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. But he hides a, a lot, and they're all really good. Really hard to find camouflage really well or in really clever spots and uh, his name is Martian Rabbit and when I first started and I saw his name popping up on logs and things I was like that's a really cool name and I only met him recently I'd never met him before so anyway, I'm almost at this stage so I guess I'll uh, talk to you guys later So we've made it to the final location, and uh, this is the view from up here. It's the highest point in the park. And this is Martian Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> so.
So, yep, yeah, this is the final of an eight stage multi. It's pretty cool. He helped me out with it a little bit. So, all right. See you later.